Okay, I just want to say this real fast. Um, to the parents whose children are getting bullied and constantly getting in fights in school because your parents made the wrong decisions in life when they were younger, stop telling your kids they can't ask you stuff, that you're not going to give them an answer or something. They're too young to understand. Oh, I'm the parent, you're the child, you can't tell me nothing. I'm older than you. Stop speaking your mind to me because that's disrespectful. If your child getting bullied in school because of some stuff that you did in your past or life, you need to answer that shit because you're going to be the reason your child commits suicide because of all the dumb shit you did in your life. And they coming to you asking you, why is my principal or my teacher or my best friend's parent telling me when you was younger, y'all was messing around all this extra shit about you being a hoe and you not doing right. Now I got to hear about it. Now people are school fucking with me because you ain't had to do shit right when you was younger. And then all the parents going to say is, I ain't got to explain that. I ain't got to explain that. Well, parent, just keep it honest. Either you ain't got to explain it or you ain't got a good ass explanation for it. Because you better realize one thing about children from when I was younger than the ones now. These young bucks now don't give a fuck about you not wanting to answer no question because they gonna keep asking your ass. Us, we got ass whoopings. We got put on punishment. We had chores and shit to do. So we had something that kept us from asking you shit, which was the fear of getting our ass whooped. These young niggas out here now don't give a fuck. They gonna keep asking you till you answer or they gonna put something to your head and make you answer. You know, so... You saying that you ain't got an answer, I and mean, why not? They suffering from the dumb shit you did when you was younger. And you ain't gonna answer as to what the fuck you was doing. Like, just imagine. You being young and wild and shit. Then your son go to school. Now his principal telling him that he knows your mom. Oh, your mom was a wild bitch back in the day. I doubt he would say it like that, but oh, I know your mom. How? Well, we kind of, we, 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 we was dating for a little while, and she got a reputation, that's all I'm going to tell you. Then the child go back home, Mom, why my person will say he know you from when y'all was growing up? Instead of you being honest and saying, well, we had sex, we messed around, because you're too ashamed of the shit you did in your past. Now, if I ain't got to answer all that. Why are you talking to me like that? You're being disrespectful. Don't ever say that to me again. And a.k.a. you're telling your child don't speak their mind because what they ask don't matter. And then you wonder why a lot of these kids be growing up with self-esteem problems thinking the shit they say don't matter. That shit come from y'all parents. Always telling your child they're dumb, they're stupid, what they say don't matter. Don't talk back to me because that's disrespectful. But, but, and, and by the way, I just want to ask. How is a child talking to you about what they feel disrespectful? So now I can kind of see if they was calling you a bitch ass nigga, but if you act like a bitch ass nigga, don't get mad if somebody calls you a bitch ass nigga because that's what you act like, child or not. If you act like something, just know you're you're gonna be called that. You can't be a bitch and then you want to be called a woman. That's that's not how it works. People call you by what you act like, not what you want to be called. Again, people call you what you act like, not what the fuck you want to be called. Anyway, um, so your child come to you, ask you why are they being told that you was a bit of a runaround back in your youth and because you're too embarrassed to talk about it or you ain't got a good enough answer for it. All you say is, don't talk to me like that. You're disrespectful. Go to your room. I don't got to answer that. I don't want to hear it. Leave me alone. Stop asking me that stuff. I don't want to talk about it. You're rude. I'm the parent. You're the child. I don't got to answer you. You know, all you got to do is just say you don't know or you didn't get, or, or you just don't got a damn good reason for it. Just say that. Or you was a hoe. You had a hoe face. It happens. Unfortunately, the people you had a hoe face to was your child's teacher, your child's principal, your child's best friend's parent, someone your child got to deal with every day. So instead of y'all saying, oh, I ain't got to answer that, just keep it real. You was a hoe. It happens. You was kind of fast. Shit happens. I came from a broken home and my parents didn't teach me the right way to live life. So I had to learn it the, the hard way. 
Why y'all feel like y'all don't owe y'all child no answer, but when your child fuck up and do wrong, they owe you one? Oh, I'm the parent. I don't give a shit what you are. You a human. Fuck out of here. If you, it, Look, here's how you should see this shit. If the parent don't owe the child, the child don't owe the goddamn parent. Because remember, this shit go two ways. When you raise your child, they're young, they need you. But when you get older and they get to a point where they can raise you, or they can help you, then they will. But think about it this way. If you think for a second, if you treat your child like shit their whole life, when they're young and you're able to raise them, but you treat them like shit their whole life, and you think when you get older they're going to take care of you, nigga, no, that's not even about to happen. Oh, hell to the naw. That's why they got nursing homes and hospice, let you grow old and let you die. And from the shit that one of my friends told me, which is more fucked up to me, now, she's a professional nurse, been doing it a long time. Now, say, for example, you as a child got this old-ass parent you don't feel like dealing with. Now, here's the sad part. The child could put their parent in a hospice, right, and never really go visit them or a nursing home or whatever. This is what the hospital will do if they see that the child, I mean, the parent ain't got nobody visiting them. They'll literally just let you sit in there. They'll let you rot, decay. Then they'll let you die. Whatever board they got your name recorded on, they'll literally erase it off the goddamn board. Then they'll just bury your ass and not even tell nobody what happened to you. Or they'll just stick you in the goddamn morgue. Then they'll cremate your ass, put your face, put your body some damn where, and just let you sit there if nobody claims you. Yeah, that's a legal thing. They do that. Yeah. Yeah, I guess that's some shit y'all didn't know. A lot of these hospice and nursing homes and hospitals and shit do not care about you. They care about the money they're getting to take care of your ass. Other than that, they just let you slowly die. And they will not care at all for shit for no reason. So a lot of y'all who keep saying, Oh, I ain't got to answer you. You're my child. I ain't got to answer you. Well, just think about this shit. When you get old and you get elderly and you can't do shit for yourself and then your child, you ask your child to help you out and then they say they don't want to, remember, if they say they don't got to answer that, remember, remember what you told them all them years, I ain't got to answer that, I'm your parent, you're my child, I ain't got to answer you. Remember, if they say that shit to you, remember what you said to them. Don't get mad if the fucking karma of what you did to them come back on you, don't get mad. Then they want to live their life, and then you try to live your life through them, or you try to ruin their life because you're old now. You can't do shit. Now you want to take their youth away because you can't do nothing now. Remember, there's a hospice and a hospital and a nursing home for a reason. To throw a lot of you old motherfuckers in there that don't want to be humble about your life. Your child really ain't got to deal with your ass. All they got to do is throw you in there, let them deal with you, and they keep moving. And they come see you every now and again if they want to do that. A choice remember that's not forced it's a choice so a lot of y'all parents who be making these fucked up decisions in life then you see a child fucking up then you want to judge your child and then god show them oh you know what your parent want to judge you because you've been fucking up a little bit let me show you through other people how they was growing up reveal the truth to him about his parents next thing you know oh are you such and such a child Oh, man, your mom can suck a dick when she was younger. Oh, man, your mama was a hoe. Oh, your daddy was a bitch-ass nigga. Oh, your daddy was a punk. Oh, your daddy talked shit and got his ass beat. Oh, your daddy pretended to be on that about that life and was getting fucked up. Oh, your dad was a hoe. Oh, your dad was running around with multiple different women. Oh, your dad this. Oh, your mom that. Oh, your grandma this. Oh, your grandma that. That's why people need to really be careful when you talk shit to your kids. Always remember, nigga, they got whatever they got from you. Remember that shit. They got it from your ass. Like a lot of these parents get on my damn nerves. You want to talk shit to your seed because you did way worse shit than them, but because nobody can prove it because back in y'all time, there wasn't no technology to record the shit. So y'all got away with a lot of shit. And the only way that y'all really get caught up on your shit is if somebody from your time tell your child what the fuck you did. 